<laughs> okay, now go. Now okay, go. Now okay, now go. Uh, so this past week we were kind of busy getting a bunch of race bikes ready to go, so we didn't get too much done in the in the garage. We did get rid of the 848 race bike of Darren's. We got rid of the Paul Smart bike. Uh, we picked up a CBR 125 for just uh, so we could teach people and for people to learn on and and. Eventually it's going to become a little mini road racing bike. Then we concentrate most of the weekend on the Martini 1199 replica that we have. I did the uh, double reservoir up front as we're waiting for a bracket. We're gonna have a thumb brake on this bad boy. Uh, we've got the Speedy Moto handlebars that are slightly bent so we can offset them and set them how we want. And of course, the forged uh, clutch Brembo master cylinder and the upgraded uh, brake master cylinder as well. Of course, we have this Panigale spacer in here. We've got some bar end, um, the brake lever guards, the old mirror. And of course, for when we go to Area 27, your decimal thing for the exhaust and then I also upgraded the rear shock on this one uh, we've got a full Olin's with the uh, uh, decimal below say ride height adjuster and offset so it's gonna hopefully track a lot better than it did originally the bike already had integrated signal lights and the tail light and uh, license plate delete so with full system and a custom tune it's pretty much ready to rock yeah, the old Milwaukee is kind of warm. <laughs> kind of warm, okay. But the moles and the half edge, the Miller, like these Miller. Oh, you have half edge? Oh. That's the only one I got. Okay, that's mine then. This is my latest acquisition to uh, the Taylor Racing uh, garage. It is a Moto Guzzi V11 Sport. Uh, it has some nice updates on it. Right now, we've got the Olin suspension, like Olin's forks, as well as an Olin shock. It's got a Batubo steering dampener underneath, which is a little bit different than the Olin's, but tomato, tomato. Uh, it's all Italian, one way or another, sort of. Uh, we've got lots of carbon accents, like on the dash, the tank, the airbox covers. We've got some aftermarket pegs, kind of like the rear sets, but not really rear sets because it's Moto Guzzi, not a super bike. And of course, the high pipes and the piece de resistance is our full floating single carbon disc. And why do we only have one? Well, because two didn't stop very well when they were cold. So we had to put one steel brake on and one carbon one because you've got to have the Gucci stuff on these bikes, but you have to still be able to stop. So that's it. That's the uh, lowdown breakdown of this brand new V11 Sport that we picked up from one of our good clients and friends. And uh, once we get a new battery, uh, we're gonna fire it up and use it as our, well, maybe daily driver, a little cafe bike. You know, go here to there, wherever we wanna go, but something diff different than a Ducati and, but it's still Italian, so Moto Guzzi it is. That's it. New acquisition at Taylor Racing. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll, uh, go. All right, hey, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the videos. If you have any comments, put them down below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you want to see. Uh, tail racing, all we do is pretty much Ducati, so, but we do do some Honda stuff or whatever we want, MV Augustas, Aprilias. Stick around, let us know what you think. Subscribe, share, like the videos. We'll see you later.